Baltimore City's Public Safety Committee met today to discuss youth violence. WJZ's Miana Massey is live at City Hall with the methods to prevent and reduce crime in our communities. Miana. Yeah, well, Vic and Denise, we just mentioned that 15 year old student who was shot and killed after school. Well, the mission here today is really just to stop the violence before it even happens. And so, city officials gathered to make sure that students have the resources they need to better pathways and, and opportunities. I think it is important that we as a community start meeting our young people where they are. City police say many juvenile arrests are that of repeat offenders. Robbery, carjacking, and gun related charges among the most prevalent. Either no bond, low bond, with no sense of rehabilitation, no sense of supervision to change them, to keep them from doing again what they just got caught doing. And year to date, youth violence stats are up in homicide, robbery, shootings, and rape. Rather than to arrest and incarcerate, the goal is to get youth on a better path by strengthening prevention and rehabilitation services. It feels like we have these conversations a lot and that slice of the puzzle still feels very, very sorely lacking. In the spring, the mayor's office of safety and engagement will launch a pilot violence intervention program in three city schools. We are um, intervening sooner rather than later. Students at Mervo, Carver, and Digital Harbor will have access to educational, mental health, and family resources. We're working directly with the students on a day-to-day -day basis, really looking to see what those conflicts are that are arising inside the school and some of those conflicts that may be arising outside of the school. Well, the Public Safety and Government Committee will meet again in the spring to really just discuss youth violence here in Baltimore and that prog progression. And so the hope is to gain further guidance from Baltimore City school officials and also from the Department of Juvenile Services. I'm Yana Massey for WJZ.